Hey gorgeous, welcome to Beyond Lust with me, Paloma. Today, we are going full on chaperone vibes. I am obsessed with her whole aesthetic. White base, glitter everywhere, and those vibrant eye looks. She is basically a drag queen who can actually sing, literally. If you want to see how I created this look, just keep on watching. Alright, first thing first. I'm cleaning my brows with 90% alcohol to get rid of any oils. Then I go in with some Elmer's glue, spreading it with a spoolie and flattening it with the back. Then I set everything with a one size translucent loose powder. Let's prep the skin with MAC Hyperreal Serumizer. This is magic in a bottle with hyaluronic acid for hydration and niacinamide to keep the skin smooth. I used two different foundations. First, Cryolan TV Paint Stick in code 070. Blend it evenly with a foundation brush or you can also use Beauty Blender. For the rest of my face, I mix Cryolan TV Paint Stick with MAC Face & Body Foundation in white. Once the foundation is on, I set it with the same translucent loose powder. Next up, blush. I'm using Frankly Scarlet, a cute warm pink blush from MAC Cosmetics. I use the translucent powder again to soften the blush edges, creating a smooth transition between the pink blush and the white foundation. I also noticed some patchiness under my eyes, so I fix it with more loose powder, dabbing gently to avoid moving the foundation. Let's get into the eyes. I'm using MAC's Hi-Fi Color Palette. I grab a card as a stencil for my winged look, blending black carbon eyeshadow outward for a soft blurry wing. Switching to a flat brush, I sharpen the wing's edge and apply black eyeshadow on my eyelid. With the same brush, I sketch my new crease. I take my time because Fixing mistakes on a white foundation base is a nightmare. I'm switching to another brush. This one is also pointy but slightly chunkier. To clean up, I use the white Cryolan TV paint stick on my new crease. And then, I layer it with MAC Dazzle Shadow Liquid in Diamond Crumble for a gorgeous sparkle. I add 3D Lavender Glitter on top for extra shine. This one is from MAC Cosmetics as well. Look at that shimmer, so gorgeous. I have here a glitter glue from Makeup Studio. I apply glitter glue on the inner corner, then carefully add glitter there. For my lashes, I use MAC Stack Waterproof Mascara as the base, then go in with Duo Glue for my lashes. For my brows, I start with two shades of brown eyeshadow as the base. Here, I'm taking my time to draw the brow. Next, I add black eyeshadow to the tail to create this ombre effect. I add a layer of white eyeshadow to highlight my brow bone. For contour, I use MAC Cosmetics Shape & Scalp Palette in medium. I'm focusing on my nose since my blush is already doing the contour job for my cheekbones and my temples. Next up is lips. I'm using one of my favorite lip pencils from MAC Cosmetics, which is cork. From the center and then drag it out to the corners, connecting it all the way. The final touch up, I grab my MAC Hyper Real Glow Palette to highlight all the right places. I spritz my brush with Fix Plus Setting Spray before dipping it into the highlighter. I apply the highlighter to my cheekbones, temples, the bridge of my nose, and a little under my eyes since that area tends to get dry. And of course, for the cherry on top, I apply a layer of MAC Lip Gloss in Lust. And voila! Here's the final look. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I hope to see you guys next time. Bye!